Hi YouTube, this is a video of me going on a mission out and about in London to find these two beauties. They're produced by a brewery highly recommended by one of my favourite YouTube channels and I wanted to see what all the fuss is about. I've opted to do a voiceover this time for a number of reasons. The main one being that I just didn't want to be that guy walking around filming himself and chatting nonsense. I've put time markers below so you can skip to the lock picking if you'd like to. So we start off at London Bridge Station, uh, that's the shard rising above, but we're heading a bit further away from there to Borough Market, which is a place that I love, but it's very busy. Here are some vegetables, because I like vegetables. <laughs> um, I also like dead crustaceans and fish, it would seem. Um, I feel I should shout medic. I was aiming for a place called Utterbeer, they did indeed stock Northern Monk and I got what I was after. I think I'll need to go back there and explore a bit more because they really do have an awful lot of beers. I then went for a wander around the food market. This is a roast hog. I'm not too sure how I feel about this. It seems like it should be delicious, but um, <laughs> I don't know. There's, there's just something about it which makes me feel a little uh, uncomfortable. This is more like it. These pies looked incredible. You can actually see the uh, cake and sitting pie which went on to be my dinner for the evening. But they've got a whole bunch of amazing looking pies, including a vegan option. Uh, I picked one of these up for Rachel, my wife, to uh, earn some brownie points. Eventually, however, Bar Market gets a little bit too much, so I decided to go up onto London Bridge and take in the views. You can see HMS Belfast and Tower of London in the distance there. And that's the clipper. And that's when I had an idea. I've actually wanted to pick a lock on the clipper for a while now. Uh, I think the River Thames is just amazing, and I like being on the clipper as well as a form of public transport. This is a view actually of London Bridge, and you can see where I was recording from uh, in the previous shot. just a bit further down the river and HMS Belfast comes into view and she is magnificent. She's got a lot of history. I'm not going to go into that now but I think one day I'd like to pick a lock on her decks. So a little bit on from HMS Belfast, you can see her there on the right, and you've got the Shard and the Mayor's Office. And we're just about to go underneath the Tower of London. Yeah, there we go. It's so cool. I'd love to be on a boat as you go underneath it, as the arches are open. But this was pretty awesome. You can actually go in and uh, see the engine rooms which power the bridge but it's like 15 quid to, to go in there, so sorry, just not going to do it, not even to pick a lock for you. I tried really hard to pick a lock on the clipper, but the vibrations from the engines just made the shots impossible. So I decided to step off at Greenwich and go find a pub for a drink and to pick the lock. I settled down at the uh, Greenwich Union pub, one of the quieter ones in Greenwich, to pick this Quiet LM5. This is the bitting of the key. It's only pins one, three, and five that you really need to deal with. Two and four you just need to not overset. I used a Sparrow's uh, short hook and bottom of the keyway tensioning. And picking this lock, it's a case of pin one gives you a click. You then move to pin three. And that pin, if you can get the Sparrow's short hook onto it will give you a full set. Just about. There we are. And then if you go to pin 5, it gives you counter rotation, but you can slot it home and it opens up very easily. Not a lock I'd necessarily recommend for security purposes, but it is fun to pick. This is the lock working with the key, and that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, I look forward to any comments you may have, um, and please feel free to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. Thanks so much, bye!